The vice presidential candidates took the debate stage last night, hoping to give their campaigns a boost. The debate took place just hours after an Iranian missile attack on Israel and as key battleground states struggle with the devastation of Hurricane Helene. Karen Kaifa has the highlights from Washington. The vice presidential nominees Tuesday night with no shortage of hot button issues to tackle, like immigration. Donald Trump had four years. He had four years to do this. And he promised you, America, how easy it would be. I'll build you a big, beautiful wall. I think you want to solve this problem, but I don't think that Kamala Harris does. Tuesday, the only scheduled debate between Republican Senator J.D. Vance of Ohio and Democratic Governor Tim Walz of Minnesota. During the forum hosted by CBS News in New York, they highlighted differences between their campaigns, including foreign policy, on the heels of an Iranian missile attack on Israel. We had a coalition of nations that had boxed Iran's nuclear program in, the inability to advance it. Donald Trump pulled that program and put nothing else in its place. You yourself just said Iran is as close to a nuclear weapon today as they have ever been. And Governor Waltz, you blame Donald Trump. Who has been the vice president for the last three and a half years? And the answer is you're running mate, not mine. And at home, the economy. I know a lot of you are struggling. I know a lot of you are worried about paying the bills. It's gonna stop when Donald Trump brings back common sense to this country. Kamala Harris has said to do the things she wants to do, we'll just ask the wealthiest to pay their fair share. When you do that, our system works best. The window for swaying undecided voters is narrowing. Voters in some states are already casting ballots by mail or in early voting. They covered topics ranging from foreign policy to economics and even abortion laws. Let voters make these decisions. Let the individual states make their abortion policy. And I think that's what makes the most sense in a very big, a very diverse, and let's be honest, sometimes a very, very messy and divided country. Just mind your own business on this. Things work best when Roe versus Wade was in place. Tim Walls views the issue as a matter of health care, citing a spike in maternal mortality in Texas. Now, he has previously defended the right to an abortion in Minnesota as their acting governor and now seems to be taking it to the national platform. Meanwhile, Vance supports leaving the decision to individual states rather than enforcing a national ban, and he claims to be pro-family. I want us as a Republican Party to be pro-family in the fullest sense of the word. I want us to support fertility treatments. I want us to make it easier for moms to afford to have babies. Abortion is one of the key issues in the 2024 election. This is the first presidential election since the Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade. And following the topic of abortion, Governor Tim Walz and former President Donald Trump posted to their pages on X. Let's take a live look to X now to one post where Walz states, quote, we are pro-women. We are pro-freedom to make your own choice, end quote. Kamala Harris has yet to comment on the topic following the debate, but she has previously supported similar views on women's health care, citing dangerous situations women face when they lack proper medical care during pregnancy. And former President Donald Trump, on the other hand, posted this during last night's debate. He states, quote, everyone knows I would not support a federal abortion ban under any circumstances and would in fact veto it because it is up to the states to decide based on the will of their voters, end quote. He continued on to say he supports abortion access in special cases of rape, incest, and if the pregnancy risks the life of the mother. News and the candidates for vice president debated the issue of immigration and the border. Republican Senator J.D. Vance says America needs to crack down on migrant crossings. Vance largely blaming the crisis at the border on the Biden-Harris administration's policies. Governor Walz then uh, criticized former President Donald Trump for pressuring Republicans to kill a bipartisan border bill. So you've got to stop the bleeding. You've got to re-implement Donald Trump's border policies, build the wall, re-implement deportations. We had the fairest and the toughest bill on immigration that this nation's seen. It was crafted by a conservative senator from Oklahoma, James Lankford. I know him, he's super conservative, but he's a man of principle, wants to get it done. Democrats and Republicans worked on this piece of legislation. Pass the bill, she'll sign it. Now, border crossings hit a record high in December of 2023, according to numbers from the Border Patrol. Those numbers have declined since that time. The candidates also pressed about the unfolding situation in the Middle East and Iran's missile attack on Israel yesterday. While the candidates disagree on which presidential candidate better protected U.S. allies, they did agree that Israel should receive full support from the United States.
We will stay committed. And as the vice president said today is, we will protect our forces and our allied forces and there will be consequences. It is up to Israel what they think they need to do to keep their country safe. And we should support our allies wherever they are when they're fighting the bad guys. Support for Israel is one of the few issues the vice presidential candidates have agreed on. However, even when in disagreement, the two politicians remained relatively civil throughout their debate. And the conversation last night between the two candidates, again, were uh, other than uh, one dispute uh, remained civil. But uh, there was a moment moderators had to cut the mics to move on. Vance and Walls were sparring over Haitian migrant claims. Moderators fact-checked Vance, saying that the Haitian migrants in Springfield, Ohio, are there legally. Now, Vance spoke up, noting CBS said they wouldn't do that, so he deserved a chance to clear it up. CBS News said it reserved the right to mute the candidates' microphones. And throughout the debate, both candidates took more aim at the opposing person at the top of the ticket, rather than focusing on personal attacks on each other. I think it was a good debate. We both got to see a contrast. Um, and I think the ending... Of course, that was vice presidential nominee Tim Walls commenting after the bait while waiting for a slice of pizza with his wife. Let's take a live look now to X, where Kabir K of CBS News posts, quote, immediately after VP debate, we polled voters who reported watching. They said it was almost even match and the vast majority felt the tone was generally positive. Walls and Vance seemed prepared to be vice president and sounded reasonable to majorities, not extreme, end quote. CBS also posted regarding the final goodbyes between Vance and Walls, citing quotes from them commending each other on a good debate. Walls saying that he enjoyed the debate and believed there to be a lot of commonality between them. As the debate came to a close, the opponents shook hands before leaving with their families. The conversation remained relatively civil between the candidates last night, but there was a moment moderators cut the mics to move on. Vance and Walls were sparring over Haitian migrant claims. Moderators fact-checked Vance, saying the Haitian migrant Migrants in Springfield, Ohio, are there legally. However, Vance spoke up, noting CBS said they wouldn't do that, so he deserved a chance to clear up the situation. Since 1990, it's something that Kamala Harris created, Margaret. Gentlemen, you're, the audience can't hear you because your mics are cut. We have so much we want to get to. CBS News said it reserved the right to mute the candidates' microphones throughout the debate. Meanwhile, both candidates took more aim at the opposing person at the top of the ticket rather than focusing on personal attacks on each other. And officials from both sides of the aisle now saying both candidates did a great job during last night's debate. We're taking a live look to Secretary Pete Buttigieg's X page this morning where he says, quote, Tim Walls displayed his characteristic decency and passion for making everyday life better for Americans. Even when facing polished falsehoods, he reminded us why the future will be so much better under Kamala Harris's leadership than a return to the chaos of the Trump era, end quote. Meanwhile, local Georgia Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene says J.D. Vance...